Hi guys, today I want to talk about, and I've talked about this before, um, good, safe and healthy sex. Not only for procreation and physical relief, but if you've got a mental block, uh, let's say, in my case, at the time when I made this discovery, I was writing on a project uh, that was very, it was very study intensive. You'd, have, you'd come home and you'd have to do homework and, you'd be, and it would be work on the weekends and um, so on and so on. So, and I heard the story before from a former work colleague of mine that uh, she knew of a couple that lived together. Um, no, I think they were married, but yeah, married people live together anyway. And this guy would come home from work and he would study at night. And then when he would get right this block, we just couldn't anymore. <sighs> and thank God we all had out here. His wife would uh, take her panties off and just sit on him. And he would make love to her in a seated position. Years on, I had then changed occupations and I was um, studying studying uh, with the media 24 for a couple of weeks at that time and my uh, girlfriend at the time would come and visit us on the weekends but obviously it would overlap in my in my work life and you know <clears throat> but fortunately the laptop was always in the bedroom on and I was working and I was telling her about my day and the stimulus that I was getting from being out of the house because you know mostly you end up working from home being a freelancer and uh, then I started to get stuck because I did a lot I needed to do a lot of reading and writing and then uh, she would say she would say just relax a bit you know and then we'd end up making love and yeah or in the mornings we'd end up making love and I would uh, this is the only time I'm going to use her name because I'm going to not add surnames to it. And then we would make love and be intimate and passionate together. <sighs> and then on the point um, where, where it would stop, or where, where <laughs> passions would collide, I would say, I would, I would shout, Tony, I got it. I would practically throw her off me because, you know, uh, being quadriplegic, sometimes the roles are reversed. She's on top or I'm on the bottom, or depending on the position we will try. <clears throat> yeah, so so not only not only is uh, sex healthy uh, for the physical release, but it also clears the mental block and psychological problems. Uh, not 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 really medically diagnosed psychological process but it clears some of the neuroses I would say about yourself and about about you know sex just helps you relax and clear the mind uh, can even be seen as part of meditation anyway um, thank you to those that are watching the vlog sorry that I've been vlogging so uh, uh, spontaneously and so sporadically but you know it comes over the business, yeah? Um, but have a nice day, everybody. Um, if I offended anybody, I apologize. But good, safe sex is healthy. Don't be ashamed of it. But really, if you're going to have multiple partners, um, use condoms. Always find partners that are willing to put the condoms on for you. Not only for your health and the prevention of pregnancy, but for the, for the prevention of other STIs, some which can be treated. And of course, the big one, which we still haven't found a cure for, AIDS and HIV. Um, yeah, I'll vlog some more on this topic because a lot of this is coming to me. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, yeah, have a good day. It's a lovely sunny day outside in Cape Town, South Africa. Thanks to the guys in the States that are watching this as well.